Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, HMI and SCADA specialist with PCC. Today I'm going to show you how to create a faceplate in the Siemens WinCC Comfort and Advanced software. A faceplate is where you take standard objects, group them, group them together, and assign your own properties and your own events. Uh, then this way you can, in essence, have your own customized object that you can insert and control how it's going to be configured. So to get started, I'm going to switch to my demo screen. And I'm going to go into my toolbox and I'm going to take a standard object, which is called an I.O. field, and I'm going to draw that out onto the screen. When this object is selected, I want to set a default property for my text justification, so on my toolbar I will select Centered. So now my text will be centered by default. To create the faceplate, the next thing that you would do is select all of the objects that would be included in your faceplate, or in my case, I'm just going to have one object. So what I'm going to do is select right-click right and select Create Faceplate. It's going to give me the opportunity to name the faceplate, so I'll call it Display Calc Val, and press OK. When I press OK, this will actually open up the faceplate editor. So in the faceplate editor, on the left-hand side in the Properties tab will be all of the objects that are included in your faceplate. On the right-hand side will be all of the properties, or this is going to be your interface to the real world where you can pass in tags or you know, pass in a new color. So this first category, I'm going to change the name of it. So I'm going to right-click, rename, and I'm going to call it General. Okay. In the General category here, I'm going to add in a property. And this is going to be my Tag to Scale. So I'll right-click on it, and I'll rename it. I'll just give it the name Tag underscore to underscore scale and it will be an integer data type. The next thing I want to do is I want to be able to have the ability so when the faceplate is inserted that you can change the format pattern of the numbers. Is it three you know, digits long? Is it four digits? Etc. So what I'm going to do is go over to the properties of my I.O. field and under the general category there's a format pattern option. I'm simply going to drag the format pattern over to general, and now that will be part of the general group that I'm creating. The next thing I want to do is create a category for text. So what I, I will do is select the Add Category button, right-click on it, and say Rename. And I'll call this one Text Format. Okay. The text format is where I want to put in properties for the actual font, you know, the font size, and then the justification. So I'm going to go over to my properties here on the left-hand side, and I'm going to scroll down to text format. Then I'm going to drag over the font property, so this will allow me to actually change the font size. So if I want to, you know, rename this category, I'm sorry, property, I will call it font, okay? Then, I also want to have the horizontal alignment option, so I'll drag that over to my text format category. So this will allow me to change the horizontal alignment to be left, center, or right when I insert my faceplate. The next thing I want to do is add in a category for colors. So I'll rename the category and I'll call it Colors. Okay, And I want to be able to change the background color and also the text color. So I'm going to have to scroll back up, and then under my I.O. field appearance, what I will do is I will take the background color, drag that over to the first property, okay, and I will rename it, and I will call it back underscore color. The next property I want to drag over is going to be the foregr foreground color. So I'll drag that over on top of colors, and then uh, maybe instead of foreground color, I'll rename it, and I will call it text underscore color. Okay, so now I have the properties created for my faceplate. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a faceplate tag. So I'm going to go to the tags column, or I'm sorry, tags tab, and then I will create a uh, tag here that will be called scale underscore value. The data type, I will make that be a real data type, okay, to store the result of my calculation. So a faceplate tag is only known with inside the faceplate. The next thing that I will do is I will move over to um, the scripts tab. And then I'm going to add in a script. 
I will change the name of the script and I'll call it VB underscore scale underscore script. So this is going to be the script that we're going to use to actually put our code to scale the value. Okay. So in the script editor, what I'm going to do is go up onto the toolbar and select list objects. And now I can browse for my faceplate tags or faceplate properties. I don't have access to real world tags inside the faceplate okay, at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select scaled value. So that's going to insert the smart tags function, and I'm going to put in an equal sign, which is an assignment, and then I'm going to select a property, which is going to be the tag to scale. And this ultimately will be the tag that we pass in, and then I'll put in my scaling expression. So I'll do times space 10. Okay, so this is going to be my uh, calculation here. And this could be a more complex calculation, but I'm just making it simple for demonstration purposes. So this will take whatever tag we pass in, multiply it by 10, and then that will be displayed on our screen. Now, there's a few more steps here. The next thing that I need to do is go to the properties of my I.O. field here. Okay, and you can see that the scaled value tag Okay, that's going to contain the scaled value. I'm going to assign that down here, okay, to the I.O. field. So now this I.O. field will display the scaled value. For the type here, it's not going to be an input-output, it's only going to be a display, so I'll change the type to be output. Okay, now the next step that we need to do is go back over to the property section, and <clears throat> we need to be able to trigger our script to run. So what I'm going to do is in the properties, okay, when this tag value that gets passed in, tag to scale, whenever it changes, I want to be able to execute the script. So I'm going to highlight it and then select the events tab. So now I've got a change value property. So in here, I will select the script that we just created. User defined scripts are at the bottom of the list. So here's VB scale script, okay. So now, <clears throat> this script will execute any time that property changes. So if the value changes in the PLC, triggers a change value, and then that will cause that value to scale. What I'm going to do now is I have to release the version of my faceplate. So I'm satisfied with my configuration. Okay, and I'm just going to check the boxes to update all my instances and delete any unused versions. So we'll click OK. And we're still in the library view, so I'm going to Hit the button in the upper left-hand corner to close out the library view. When I highlight <clears throat> my uh, faceplate now, it displays the name, display calc val, and then the first instance of the faceplate. If you look at the properties now, the properties, you would think it would be an I.O. field. Well, it doesn't have all of the typical properties of the I.O. field because we created a faceplate. Our user-defined properties are going to be available here in the interface area. So for the background color here, right now it's set to white, but if I want to change it to a different color, maybe I'll just pick yellow, okay, I can do that. My text color, I can maybe pick a, you know, a bluish color. So now I, you know, change the, the text color. Under the general area, I'll just go in order here, the format pattern, maybe, you know, I want to display, you know, just an integer value here, and it's just going to be the S in, say, four nines. Okay, so I changed my format pattern. The tag to scale, when I click on that, I would have to select that I want to actually assign an HMI tag to this property. Then I can hit the Browse button here and select my actual tag or PLC value. So I will select that. The next thing is the text format category that I created. We've got the font here, so I could actually select a different font size. Maybe I'd make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. The justification, if I wanted to, I could you know, change it to be left, center, or right. I'll just leave it you know, defaulted you know, to the center justification. So the next thing I will do is I will actually highlight my HMI here, and I'm going to start the runtime simulator. So I'll start the simulation. This will compile my project and it will start the runtime. So here's my default application screen. I'll go to the demo screen. And now when I enter in a value here, I'll say I'll put in the value of 10, okay? And it's gonna take 10 times 10, I get 100. If I put in a value of one, it's gonna take one times 10 and give me a value of 10. 
So this would be how you create a basic uh, faceplate for scaling the value in the WinCC Comfort software. Thank <music> you.